I'd like to tell a very short story about Mila's childhood and which relates to the castle and to the surroundings. We've been in France when she was eight years old. Uh, we visited a number of castles and in Chambord, when she visited it, she said, Oh, mom, I want to be in this castle, I want to live in this castle. And I said, Look, probably you might be a servant in the castle. And she said, and she said, oh, mom, even cow. <laughs> so that's now she is a bride in the castle and her dream actually has been completed. Mila, I'm sure you all agree, looks absolutely stunning today, simply stunning. <laughs> Steve, you look simple and stunned. Congregation, please stand. I, Steve Richard Nickerson. Take you, Ludmila Victoria Koblikova. Take you, Ludmila Victoria Koblikova. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till separated by death. Till separated by death. And according to God's holy law. And according to God's holy law. I now make this vow. I now make this vow. You may kiss your bride, sir. Mm -hmm.
what immediately springs to mind is, is Steve's inability to control his temper at times. Uh, it obviously runs, obviously runs in the family. A few years back we were travelling from England up to Aberdeen and we stopped in Gretna just as a stopover for the night. Um, we decided to go out for a bar meal. All got served pretty quickly apart from Jody. So we started eating our meal and maybe it was only two or three minutes that Jody hadn't been served and suddenly the waitress walked past and this red mist just came across Steve's face. I mean, he was furious. If this food is not here in two minutes, we're walking out and paying for nothing. Needless to say, the food was there in 30 seconds. Okay, so you did, so it worked out. happy that Steve became a part of our family, uh, a very precious part I have to say. And also what I would like to wish is eternal love and also growing feelings, not just keeping feelings, but growing feelings uh, across the life because life is not an easy thing and everyone knows that. So happiness to you both. Now, whilst I'm talking to you, I like a small formality here. I actually have a copy of the receipt from you. And for the benefit of all, it reads as below. Received 17th May 2018. One daughter in perfect condition. <laughs> Fully guaranteed for life. Comes complete with all extras. One thing I, I never noticed at the time of purchase what I'm quite happy with is a small print, which reads, keep topped up with expensive jewellery and fine champagne. All, all I can say is, I'll do my best. Mila and I have been together for, for over nine years now and we, we, got, uh, we got engaged last year and went across to Venice and I thought I would try to be a bit more romantic than usual. We had a beautiful evening, we went out um, for a stroll through Venice, found a lovely little bar and had a couple of drinks there, went on for a fantastic meal and then we had, again another romantic stroll I proposed on one of Venice's famous bridges and then we decided what was, it was the most perfect moment when Mila said yes, and that for me will always stay with me. After that we decided we were going to go to a bar, as you do. Uh, we, we found a nice little bar, and we walked into this bar, and before we even thought about ordering a drink, we noticed that the ceiling was lined front to back with ladies' bras. <laughs> and each one of these bras had handwritten on it the name of a couple, a, a newly engaged couple, and the date of their engagement. Of course, I got really excited. Come on, honey, come on, honey. Take your bra off, we'll hang it on the ceiling. And I honestly didn't know whether to laugh or cry when Mila turned around and said, I'm not wearing one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, darling. <laughs> Mila, I'm so very proud to call you my wife. Um, as I said before, the moment I saw you at the altar, that will live with me forever. 
I cannot wait for our future lives together. And if you'll all be upstanding one final time and join me in a toast, please, to my beautiful wife, to the one I love, to Mila.